Well, have you seen them? The blue blob like sea creatures. I mean, this is for real, okay? They've been seen on the sands at Torrey Pine State Beach. And PhD student at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, we have Anya joining us. Anya, how do you say your last name? Steiner. That's a okay. question I get asked all the time. Okay, I know. I was like, oh gosh, I'm not even going to try because I want to make sure I get it right. Okay, first of all, let's talk about these blue sea creatures. And when I say that, we're going to show you guys a little bit of video because it's so fascinating to see. What are these? Yeah, so. So these blue sea creatures are an animal called Valella Valellas, but I often call them Valella just for short, but they actually have tons of nicknames. They're also called by the wind sailors, purple sails, little sails, and as you can see from these pictures, that's actually the perfect nickname for them because they have this sail-like yeah. chitinous uh, appendage like that sticks out of the water. That's actually how they get moved around. The wind blows them and they sail along. You know what? When I look at these videos, when I look at the pictures, it, they're so beautiful. Yeah. And it, you're, you, I mean, and obviously like me, I get to be like a kid and I'm like, I'm so fascinated. <laughs> I want to pick it up. So let me ask you this. Are, do they sting? Well, okay, so Valella Valellas are benign to humans. They will not sting you. Oh. Yes, they will sting their prey. So if you are a zooplankton or a larval fish, look out because the Valellas will get you. But Valella Valellas, uh, they're related to other animals like uh, Portuguese man of war. I don't know if you've heard yes, of those. Yes, yes. And those will sting. So I personally wouldn't go touching anything on the beach if I don't know exactly yeah, what it is. Exactly, <laughs> that's good advice. Well, and I ask that because they, I mean, if you don't know what it is, you might think it, it looks similar to a jellyfish, not quite, but like you said, you just you don't know, you kind of want to pick it up, um, but you're saying it's it's benign to humans, it will not sting us, so that's, but but maybe you don't touch it anyway? Yeah, no, that's, that's a great point, point. Um, and I will say, so people always ask me, are these jellyfish, because they do look like them, uh -huh. but the Lala Valellas and jellyfish are not super closely related. Oh. They're both animals that fall into a group called cnidarians, but that group is pretty big, and it also includes animals like corals. Um, but a true jellyfish is an animal called a scyphozoan, where Valella Valellas are an animal called a hydrozoan, more like those Portuguese man of war. Interesting. That I, yeah. I, I mean, I'm still fascinated by Valella Valella. Right yeah. <laughs> I know. Such a pretty name. It's the zooplankton so yeah. nice they named it twice. <laughs> I know. There you go. Well, why are we seeing them now? Yeah, so we're actually pretty lucky to be seeing them now, if you ask me. Um, maybe the Valella Valellas aren't so lucky because this would be considered a stranding for them. Yeah. So to see a bunch of Valellas on the beach, we have to have a bunch of conditions that happen like at the same time perfectly for the, the Valellas. And that includes there being enough food in the water for there to be a large bloom of Valellas and then lots of strong shoreward winds and currents that actually bring them to the shore. Like I said, they have these sails, which is where their nickname comes from. Uh -huh. And when there are lots of shoreward strong winds, the Valellas are really at the mercy of the breeze and they'll mm. go wherever the wind pushes them. I feel like this is a rare thing just because I've, I've lived here for about 20 years now. I don't remember, at least I don't remember hearing about it. When was the last time we've seen anything like this on our shores? Yeah, I believe uh, the last time they were in San Diego may have been in 2015. So you're oh, right. 2015. Okay. It does not happen very often and that's to me what makes it so exciting to see them. Sure. And I want to tell all my friends to go out, <laughs> do some beach combing, see if yeah. you can find any and uh, I always recommend when you go beach combing bring an extra little baggie because this is also a great chance to pick up some litter on the beach and kind of make a difference Good while point. you're enjoying the beauty okay perfect and you said Torrey Pines is around uh, Torrey Pines State yeah, Beach right I've it's... heard of them at Torrey Pines uh -huh. Pacific Beach oh, Ocean Beach okay. I have not seen them at La Jolla Shores yet okay. but who knows they might show up but they're there oh that's Fascinating, isn't that cool? And we don't have to go to a zoo or anything to see it. I mean, it's yeah, pretty much they're there. blown right to us. I love this, Anya. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We have been talking about this because I know they started to see it in Orange County, oh, yeah. and so we've been talking about it for a few weeks now. But now it's come. It's Any here chance in San to Diego. talk about the ocean? There I'm here you for go. it, Anya. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.